I thought we'd do one last book for our classroom. This is Bear's Loose Tooth by Karma Wilson. She is the author. Jane Chapman. Jane Chapman is the illustrator. Remember that the author writes the words and the illustrators create the pictures or the illustrations. This is our title page. It's because it's a title of the book all over again. Bear's Loose Tooth. All right, let's see what we got here. From a cave in the forest came a munch, munch, munch. As Bear and his friends all nibbled down on their lunch. Bear savored every bite. He gulped and he gobbled. And there in his mouth, something wiggled and it wobbled. As Bear nibbled food, something moved when he chewed. It was Bear's loose tooth. Bear pointed in his mouth and he said, Oh dear, my tooth feels funny. It's the one right here. Bear frowned and he worried. Tears welled in his eyes. But how will I eat if my tooth says goodbye? Hare said, Open wide. And then he looked inside and saw Bear's loose tooth. Mouse squeaked, Don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see? A new tooth will grow where the old used to be. We'll help, said Wren. I know what to do. It's out with the old and in with the new. Wren perched on Bear's lip and he got a good grip on Bear's loose tooth. Bear has such good friends. Wren pulled on the tooth with all of his might. Is it out? asked Bear, but it stayed stuck tight. I'm a bit too small for the job, said Wren, so I'll grab the tooth, but the tooth stayed in. Badger said, I'll try, and he gave a big pry on Bear's loose tooth. They all took a turn, but the tooth wouldn't budge. Then Bear used his tongue, and he gave a little nudge. His tooth wiggled to and fro, and then what do you know? Bear's tooth fell out. Look, an exclamation point, and the word out is so big. Bear danced a big dance. Bear grinned a big grin. Bear held up his tooth, and he showed all his friends. Bear looked in the mirror, and he laughed at a smile. A new tooth would come, but it might take a while. That night in bed, right next to his head, lay Bear's loose tooth on a little plate. While he slept and he snored, a fairy fluttered in, and she left blueberries where Bear's tooth had been. Aww. He woke in the morning and found the sweet treat. Bear's friends came for breakfast. They sat down to eat. Bear gulped and he gobbled and he felt something wobble. Uh-oh. Bear's loose tooth. It's going to happen over and over because we have a lot of teeth in our mouth. There's bear in his lair. Those two words rhyme, bear and lair. Great, thanks.